हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज लेसन यू विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर प्रिफरेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स एज पर लिस्ट डी एंड द प्रिफरेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स अमाउंट सब्जेक्ट टू द फॉलोइंग नाउ लेट अस सी हु आर द प्रिफरेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स प्रिफरेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स आर दोज हु गेट द प्रिफरेंस ओवर अदर अनसिक्योर्ड क्रेडिटर्स आर नोन एज प्रिफरेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स और इन अदर वे Preferential creditors are those who are given preference in the payment over all other unsecured creditors. For example, rent, rates, taxes, and wages. When calculating preferential creditors, we must follow the limits. By law, the following are the preferential creditor limits. Types of creditors: any debts due to the government or any local authority. For example, taxes and rents in precedency towns. full amount should be paid and provisional also full amount should be paid in case of salary rupees 300 or 4 months salary whichever is less in case of provisional rupees 20 wages rupees 100 per worker or 4 months wages whichever is less in case of provisional rupees 20 rent in case of precedency only one month rent is allowed now let us learn one example from the following ascertain the creditors to be shown under list a and list d trade creditors 1 lakh income tax 1200 municipal tax 1000 office clerks in bracket 8 persons salaries for 4 months rupees 4000 wages in bracket 6 persons for 4 months 700 rent due to landlord for 3 months rupees 3000 private loan 10000 loan from his wife in bracket out of stridan 5000 from this detail we need to bifurcate the items comes under list a and list d now let us see the items that comes under unsecured creditors as per list a total trade creditors 1 lakh salary exceeding preferential limit 1600 that is 8 persons are given and the limit is 300 So from the four thousand total amount, two thousand four hundred, one thousand six hundred is considerable. Wages exceeding preferential limit rupees hundred, six percent into hundred, six hundred out of seven hundred, six hundred deducted and hundred is considerable. Rent for two months two thousand, private loan ten thousand, loan from wife five thousand. For loan from wife, if the wife has given the loan to her husband. Out of her personal property or dowry or self-earned income, or out of funds received from her parents (in brackets) three thousand, then the amount of loan is included in creditors. On the contrary, if the wife's loan is out of the money given to her by her husband, then the loan is taken as capital of investment. so here is one note i have mentioned the amount of preferential creditors who are paid in full as shown above to be deducted from the available asset when the statement of affair is prepared we shall see this how the statement of affairs is prepared and how this amount is deducted therein now let us see how to prepare preferential creditors as per list d salary 8 persons into 300 2400 wages 6 person into 100 600 taxes income tax 1200 rent for 1 month 1000 municipal tax 1000 total 6200 here also i mentioned one note the amount of salaries or wages or rent in excess over the limit prescribed by the law shall be included in the list of unsecured creditors under list a so we shall see this kinds of adjustment when we prepare statement of affairs